uh, you know, he's going to start out. Just keep in mind. So, right. as we are saying, Nitro is one of, you know, it's probably the best Richter in SoCal, setting the, setting the stage. Yeah, but T3 oh. Dome in winner's finals upset him very convincing, convincingly. Just in case we don't know the story. So now he's putting out Joker, trying to break through the zone. And let's see if he makes it happen. And also remember, T3 Dome was expecting the Joker as right. well. So this is not an unexpected pick. Uh, his Joker is pretty good, Nitro's, but you know it's, it's a Richter. But I don't think he's comfortable with uh, with the Dino's as well. Right. Yeah. So he's kind of you know stuck between a rock and a hard place in terms of options to pick. So he's, I guess he's willing to roll the dice on it. One thing to keep in mind: we saw earlier today, Nitro pulled out Joker against Hockey, and it did not go very well. <laughs> it, it, it was it was all right at first. Yeah. But then. It was down to a Hucky was up two games, and he right. was like, ah. Have he had to go back to Old Faithful and uh, have the Richter bail him out. So I think Nitro has a little bit of work to do with the Joker, but, you know, what a time to pull him out. Grand finals here at Wednesday Night Fights 3.2, whatever the number is. It don't matter. It don't matter, right? We yeah. all here and having fun. Oh, my God. And already they're even around 80% T3 Dome. And a little bit of trouble because Arsene's, on, Arsene's online. Arsene. Yeah, you know, you know it's bad when getting this way. <laughs> yeah. But he's doing the best as he can. Thank you so much for all watching this, because we are still continuing forward with the Grand Finals. And right now, Nitro, no Arsene. Yeah, so weather the, the storm, and the gun plays out. But there's, oh, yeah, good air dodge out. Yeah, they're all SDI up, just to avoid it. But it's really good, and that backer is going to have his name on it, trying to get something down right now. But the flames are going to hit him out of the holy water. It's constantly trapping out Nitro, and he calls out the jump with a great air dodge cancel momentum, and he eats it up yep. just so we can get Arsene, and we see the enemy eyes coming into play. But he eats the back another air. one. Yeah, and there's Arsene. You gone. would think that Joker would be going for those back airs, and Richard's like, ah, yeah, I got one with your name on it as well. I mean, it's it's about positioning and zoning, right? You know, once you're in that lead trap situation, T3 Dumb can do pretty much whatever he wants. And he needs to land those guns. Oh, no. oh, hit him back towards the stage, unfortunately. Really unfortunate right there. He had the right plan, and he's going to use Rebel's Guard in order to get Arsene faster. That is a massive punish, but he wasn't unable to get it. But he uses the gun as well. And T3 Dumb living, and that's, you know, he went to the gun in that situation. I don't know if he should have. Uh, Thrown that out, he might have just waited and just kept his, you know, forward air as an option. You open. know, you know why Nitro went for that down smash? He's missed so many F smashes and up smashes. <laughs> he got way too scared and just decided to yeah, go for just the safer be one. safe, right? But that cost him because he was unable to take the stock, and now Richter's at 181 percent and doing so much work. And my goodness, he's yeah. doing all the work spot he can. On, spot on with that. It's, it's getting bad. It's 82%. He needs to land something down. Nitro cannot let this keep going up forward. Even a backer will kill at this percent. Nitro, you have to end this as fast as possible. But Ar that's, this is going to be two arson sets that TT Drum's going to clean out. And no problem. Oh, I thought the up special was going to kill right there. Yeah, I thought it was going to be. He probably could have because he hit the forward here. Mm -hmm, but. You know, why risk it, right? right. I'm Speaking of forward airs, that rising forward air has been the bane of Nitro's existence, whether it's Joker or Richter but that he's this using. Was the pick? Is it working? Because obviously, yeah, it's not working so far yeah. <laughs> right now. It also comes into it also comes into play that T3 Dome was ready for the pick. Right. And you know, part of it might just be you know, in terms of arson cap, you know, capitalizations. This could go the other way if Nitro hits the situational, you know, punishes. When he's an arson, you know, you're talking about that down smash being the difference. If he took that stock, we're going to get a whole entire different ballgame. But all things being equal, and, you know, 2-3 <laughs> Dumb just holding on to the he's stock. He's getting walled out over and over and over again. Arson leaves him. He's just like, hey. Yeah, I thought he was going to give up right there. No, there's, speaking of giving up. No, no, oh, he got the, yeah, yeah, he got the tether. Joker's right. coverage is amazing. Yeah. It's, it's always deceptive. I never know he's going to be able to tether back up, but he always gets it no matter what. Yeah, he finally gets it, but at what cost? Oh. At what cost? He needs to take a stock fast if he wants a chance, and we've seen it happen before, but the up E is going to put him out for a little more damage. Yeah, Nitro's feeling it just a little bit, thought, oh, maybe I have an edge guard situation for a Gimp, but T3 Dump, go good presence of, presence of mind, got that up special to escape. And also, that edge guard should have came out way earlier. And he must feel bad for Nitro. That down smash is really eating away at him. Arson back on line, and let's see if he's able to break it off with edge. Oh, no, he's not. There's that forward air. The bane of his existence, rising forward air, T3 Drones, bread and butter so far. It's holy water. This is the <laughs> way. Oh, all right, here we go. T3 Dome on the, you know, rolling with all kinds of momentum. Mm -hmm. 
did not need a different character for the situation. It don't, it don't matter. Now let's see if Nitro is uh, going to just go right back to Richter and just play out the ditto. Or if he's going to stick to Joker. It's not working. Oh, the Sonic is coming out. Throwback time. Here we Throwback. go. Okay. <laughs> this is actually a potential counter pick because yeah. Richter cannot keep up with Sonic's speed. And also, Sonic has some really good kill confirms. So here we go. Sonic moving forward and immediately going on the aggression. He knows he has to get in. Yeah, it's just the speed. And, you know, Sonic is always that character that's a little bit about fear. You want to keep Sonic out. And, you know, the hits by themselves don't do a whole lot of damage. But you start second guessing yourself because you have to play so close to the limit of your reaction time that you start second guessing, start hitting buttons a little earlier than you should. And all of a sudden, you're taking 64 damage. And that back air from Sonic hurts. Right. And also, Sonic's recovery is actually pretty good, especially with that spring. It's like Mega Man's recovery, oh. except it goes a little higher. Oh, what happened? Obby. We lost a little, lost a little screen, but we're good. All right, we're it's back. Okay, it's okay. We're back onto this one, and yeah, actually, there's the forward air, and in the blink of an eye, <laughs> two, three dumps, putting on the advantage. Great recovery. Yeah, My off the wall goodness. with an air dodge. You know, the wall coming into play. That was a clutch recovery coming into play, but he eats the action the face. It's going to be fine, though, grabbing onto it. That's what I'm nervous about. Remember that conditioning he did with yeah. the axe? It's going to bite him in the back someday. Right. Let's see. All right. He's keeping him out. He's actually doing a good job keeping up with Sonic. That's a little bit of trouble. Questionable dare. Sometimes you just get a little nervous, though. You want to get back to the ground ASAP. Oh, Picks up the dare. He went for the panic upbeat. Actually, up air actually clips him out, but this is Kellos. I'm going to be alive, but... Thankfully, the side tail does miss, so T3 Dope has got some room to breathe in, and he rolls away from it. So many whiff options are coming out of the back here. Does finally connect. And finally had T3 Dome in an edge guard situation, but not able to capitalize. And T3 Dome is just playing this entire match from the lead trap situation. And he's doing so well, and the dash attack finally catches out in the down air. Finally does with the back air, finally takes it. Yeah, what a call out. Picks up the ledge jump and just back airs him right where he's going to be. Way ahead of him, man. Oh so my god, far. here we go. Yeah, putting on a clinic right now. Sonic doing so much damage. 55. That's when you know he's feeling it. He follows up the combo with the homing yeah. attack right on that uh, platform situation. Yeah, that's going to cost him, though. My god, so much is happening right now, and this is looking really good. But right now, Nitro has got to use this opportunity to keep pushing did forward. He and he's did he pick up his jump? OK, no, I no, thought no. he might have stuffed the double jump. But good presence of mind from TZ. I'm not burning it early. Knew that forward air from Sonic was coming out. Uh huh. And also, he's going to be have to use that spring. It's a really good recovery. It's going to get hit by up, though. Right now, it's a zoning game. It's horrible seeing that he's at the advantage with percent, but he's still playing from behind. Right. He's got to pick your spots and get in and be OK with taking a hit here or there. Homing attack doing a good job just breaking through the zone. TT Doom not really ready for it. Oh, There's another. That's like three in a row so far that he's hit with it. Works. Don't fix it, yeah, right? <laughs> Dude, I was gonna have to hit the shield button or something, or something uh -huh. pretty soon. But here comes the backer and the spring gimp as well. That's perfect from Nitro. Good pickup, yeah. Put up the spring, gets the edge guard, and T3 Dome, you know, a little shook. Maybe Sonic was the play all along. I mean, it works, right? <laughs> Stricter struggles with the rushdown, and that spring gimp is actually massive because when he clings to the wall, he's right next to the cowl, so this is why he picked the stage. Yep. Here we go, yeah, Com combo in a neutral air and a forward tilt. Everything's going Nitro's way so far. Homing attacks left and right, none of them missing. You know, now if you think about it, Nitro is a good Sonic player name. Yeah. yeah he's turning up the speed right now, but he's able to get out of that situation. Got he's that Nas action going on, right? <laughs> but, like, what? Like, in this situation, great up at a ship, uh, great up at the counter, but what can T3 Dome do? He's just getting overwhelmed. He's got to, you know, go back to the basics and not not get too jumpy. You see him throwing out a lot of options. And he's got to remember that Sonic has to come to him no matter what. He's, like, as fast as he's going, right. he's still going to come. And so, you don't, like, sometimes you don't have to wall them out, even if you're a walling character. Sometimes you just got to play the bait as well. And you just know Sonic has to come in and just bait in in that situation. Gets the, gets the spring. There we go. Yep, there we go. And he's still in it with his striking distance. Just got to, you know. I know, but here comes the spring of Destiny. He's not going to miss out, but that back air sure will hit. And he's going for the edge guard. Don't USD, Nitro. That's not allowed in this game. Yeah, holding on to it. There's a first homing attack miss. Uh -huh. By this time, it's like opening up all kinds of opportunities. And also the spring being called out, knowing that he was going to jump onto there. Great jumps up from Sonic. He's able to get out of it. The F-Tilt finally moves him down. You got to be a little nervous if you're uh, Nitro. The main kill option that you've been getting is in either the spring or calling out the back air. And he does not, not yeah. make it. 
Oh my goodness. This Is this the pick Nitro's been looking for? Finally found it. You know, you, you've been searching for it. Winners finals couldn't find it. Went to Joker of all things game one, and game two comes out with the Sonic, and we're split 1-1. One, one. He's doing so well right now. You can feel like, you see T3, T3 Dome, he's thinking right now. Yeah, I see, there's a thought bubble over the center. I wonder if uh, Captain Falcon's coming He's sticking to Kalos? Going back to Kalos, and you know, in the counter pick situation, oh, Nitro has to commit first. Let's see. Oh, uh, I see a Mega Man? Yep. Mega Man. He's been practicing. He says, uh, T3 Dome told me that he likes to play Mega Man if he understands what he's comfortable with. And also, Mega Man's Three, disadvantage is two, way better than Richter's. Right. Here we go, the pellets are coming out. So we got some old school action coming on. Yeah, Sonic versus Mega Man. <laughs> the characters that everyone wanted to see in the games, and they're finally able to come into play. But my goodness, Mega Man's pellets can be very interesting to deal with as Sonic. Right, especially for the uninitiated, right? It's always very difficult to navigate around. Shout outs though to uh, Sonic Mega, the OG SoCal, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Mega Man. Learning everything I know from watching him play. Yeah, helping with that MSM. <laughs> yep, for sure. Yeah, he's doing so well right now. And Scat, also a great Sonic player. I got to see him play a lot. And he went for the down oh. but the spring gets oh, him out. He's the great oh, wall he he's lived. recovered. I cannot believe that. I thought he was dead for sure. I would have died. I know that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but these recoveries coming in, both of them have exploitable recoveries. Right. This is very linear. They can use their spring, and he can use his down air. This is really crucial right now for Dome in order to get those down airs and Sonic's really recover, and he almost died from that up air. And maybe getting caught a little bit too aerial, that uh, you know the spin dash going right underneath the pellet pressure. Oh, bad up tilt. Forward smash going to clean it up. Nitro in the driver's seat. And also forgot that Sonic's uh, M smash, you can also tilt it downwards for a two frame. So it's a really good move. But right now, what what I need to see from Dome, I need to see Sawblade confirms into a back here. He needs to get these confirms off if he wants to stay alive. And I'm not seeing a Sawblade. But I do there see a back here, right? There's a back here, you know. Hey, you know, if you get the back if you get the back here raw, then who needs a software, yeah. right? But you're right, you know, the neutral might help him out. But he might oh he picked it up anyway. Mm -hmm. He picked up the saw blade, but the leaf shield was actually able to keep him safe in the back here. Perfectly spaced out, so it's safe. Yeah, it seems like he's been kind of going and favoring the leaf shield in this situation as a way to kind of slow down the Sonic Assault. It just does not seem like he's gaining a lot of mileage out of it, you know, not able to really capitalize. It just kind of seems like a, almost a reset option more than anything. And you can't just keep resetting over and over again. You kind of want to, at some point, open up Nitro and try to build just a little bit of a lead. He's doing the best as he can. These pellets are just slowly chipping away. It actually interrupts his spin dash, which is really crucial. Yeah, went for the sock. Good Ooh. spot dodge. You saw the homing attack and got you know got him on the rebound for its match straight out of it. That was kind of a set play. You knew that it was coming. We were talking about him being well studied and being, you know, liking Mega Man in familiar situations. That one's from the lab for sure. Yep, and there we go, dodges out the air dodge, but that dash dodge sure is not safe. Here comes the confirm with that Z drop, but it's able to get away with it. I was expecting a down air, but yeah, a B maybe reversal the, instead. Maybe the platform getting in the way, maybe getting into his own head a little bit. But the Up tilt sure though. You can Right welcome to Wednesday Night chair. Fights. Yeah, welcome <laughs> to Wednesday Night Fights. We got Street Fighter here too as well. Little shout outs to Capcom right there, giving Mega Man a sure you can. Mm -hmm. Make sure he's got it, but these dash attacks, I don't like them from Nitro though. They're really unsafe on Shield. And last time he got punished for it. And now that he has the lead, now is the time to go to the Sleep Shield and just keep playing that reset game because every trade is going to be yeah, anti Dome though. Saber. Yeah, it's in a little bit of trouble. Oh my god, he's playing going off the edge. Him. Oh my god, yeah, he went off. He, that, but I respect the risk in that situation. When you're in, when you're losing, you need to go for these all-out plays in order right. to get that advantage. Though that's the thing. And I like this quick, I like this play from them that both of them are avoiding the Richter now. Yeah, we're at that super level Miomi. At some point, someone's going to pick a Richter next, right? Mm -hmm. And here we go. Let's try to use the F smash in order to get that two frame down. But the missed grab, that's huge. Yeah, Mega Man. It looked a little bleak at the start, but definitely T3 Dome has come into his own. And he's been holding it steady. And he's looking, yeah, he's feeding for an up, up tilt. Ooh. Good back air, aggressive option coming out from Nitro. Closing out the, you know, the second stock. Uh -huh. and so it's not impossible. Remember, we've seen Nitro do wonders with right. this, but. All T3 Dome needs is a Z-Draw back air, and that should confirm the stock, or a nice read on the M-Smash, but, whew. Yeah, just good punish options coming out from T3 Dome. Not even gonna bother with the down air, and just kinda play it safe. Oh, he went for the roll to back throw. Here we go, he's trying to get a read down right now. The arrows are connected, but that Leaf Shield is getting in the way, 142%. Yeah, yeah Nitro, a little bit of trouble. Oh, he went for the run back forward smash. But good presence of mind. Oh, he got hit by that one, he though. He got hit by that one, Tried though. Tried to parry for no reason. 
And yeah. Nitro laughing is like, oh man, that's kind of a brain fart for sure. Yeah, <laughs> he definitely liked that, that stock back. And that's the unfortunate part. All right, let's talk about tactics and let's talk about what winning game three means because we were thinking about the hypothetical situation where they're going to start counterpicking Richter on each other now. But now all of a sudden, they, no, there's no Richter on top of right. each other. Well, and the fact is, the problem is that T3 Joe just needs to win one more. Right, he's got so, the championship under his belt. So if he goes uh, Richter now, then he, he'll have the matchup that he wants in game five no matter what. He's got the counterpick advantage. Oh. Getting some, water. getting some water. Got to hydrate, you know. You We've been playing hydrate. a lot of Smash for a long time. It's getting late there. I, I, I need to hydrate. I only drink yeah, one dude. bottle of water coming in from here, but that's the, I got to get that grind on, bro. I think the bar is closed now at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sad times. Well, let's be had all around. I'm glad you're going to work early <laughs> oh, tomorrow. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Smashville is the place. So we're moving away from a blue stage, no callus, and getting some smaller stage action going on. And let's see, uh, Knight just got to pick his character. Let's see who's using. Mega Man. Uh, Whoa. Oh, Wolf? I've seen this before. Do you, do you see the dome? He's just like, what? OK. <laughs> All right, so we got the, hey, where's that pocket wolf? Pick that out. Oh, it's the pocket it's, wolf. It's the moment. It's the pocket wolf. We have the rhetorical occasion for you. We got I the pocket wolf. I literally said the pocket wolf, and it literally came out. Everyone's got a pocket wolf. Yeah. But is it the correct decision, though? We'll find out. Oh my god, and he like air dodge, but he's living and those pellets really a hard time so far. TZ Dome doing a very good job, you know, just throwing out man. He's probably, you know, the life of the party at the Smash Fest. Yeah. Uh, Richter, a Mega Man. Yeah, Richter, Mega Man. Oh, yeah. His training partners probably love it every day. Yeah, you, you, you know it's bad. You know it's bad when the Mega Man player shakes your hand and says, good luck, have fun. Yeah. How dare you say yeah. that to me? They expect me to have fun. But Great use of the subway to interrupt you, trying to use the down smash in order to get that two frame. But unfortunately, to find it, he actually can reflect the F smash. That's important to know. Right. It's something to look out for, so of course, you know, because T3 Dome was getting a little telegraph with those forward smashes too, yeah. at the last, you know, especially towards the end of the last game. So, so this that reflector keeps him honest. This reflector is going to be really crucial for uh, Nitro to use. He's able to reflect the Leaf Shield, the Saw Blade, the Ebb Smash, the Crash Bomb, too, as well. Oh, and uh, not quite enough range to get that grab on the forward air. Mm -hmm. Flame Sword, too powerful. There's oh, the back throw. Chucks him out right behind the shoulder. And we're That's two stocks away from a T3 Dome win. Mm -hmm. And Nitro's got to find some way to get in. He's like trying to camp him out, but at the same time, t just like, okay, I'll happily camp you out. I'm going to win this projectile ward. He gets the blaster off, throws the saw blade behind him, but this is such a pain for Nitro to finally get in. At 140%, he needs to find that two frame in order to kill us that stock out. Yeah, just been a couple frames a little late, Speaking unfortunately. Frames, we're losing a few right there. Yeah, no, it's all right. We're, all right. we're good in terms of, uh, you know, production. <laughs> we can see. <laughs> Yeah, we've come this far. Look, There's an up smash. Good empty empty land too. Mm -hmm. Kind of caught a uh, you know caught TZ Dumb trying yeah, to grab. He, I think. No, he also likes to do the pellets at him. Mm -hmm. there. So that's yeah. probably what he caught him out to do. Remember, like you said, it's keeping him honest. Right. And here we go. go tries for a downer off stage, just barely misses. I got a little nervous for Nitro. Right oh yeah. There. Oh my God, this is so interesting to see. He jumps over the saw blade, but these pellets, these storms, these lemons are getting in the way. Here comes the down throw into the yeah. dash attack. Some bread and butter's coming out from uh, Nitro's Wolf. And, but, oh, he tried to get the Leaf Shield out. Good aggressive option so Ooh. far from Nitro. And stuffing him with uh, up smash. Mm -hmm. But that bear comes into play. Mega Man's bear is so much better in this game than Smash 4. And it's going to cause a lot of problems for Nitro. He's trying to find his way in, but these lemons are causing so much difficulty for him to get in. And then as soon as he gets a second to set up, the Leaf Shield's coming out. And every trade uh -huh. is a trade in T3 Down's favor because he has such a big lead. And the problem is right now is actually, well, if you actually think about it, it actually works in Nitro's favor because right now he's got Rage. And he's oh, got to get his yeah, down. Yeah. So it's going to work in his favor. He just needs to make sure not to get thrown out. Right. And you saw that this time, Nitro knew he was going for the back up, air. Yeah, picked up the back air, got the double jump read, stuffed it, and now we're talking about a big lead. Let's start getting those leaf shields out and building up. Mm -hmm. Get the saw blades off. Oh my god, it doesn't last that long, even when you reflect it, though. So that down tilt going to catch him off guard. Nitro, he's got to find he's got to find a down smash somewhere. Yeah, maybe pick up a two frame, something on the ledge. Here we go. Oh. He's got his chance. Not enough. And unfortunately, he's getting punished for it. Just think about how different the different the complexion of the matchup would be mm -hmm. if he hit, you know, some of the two frame windows. You know, but hey, if it were like but that, I'd be in grand finals. Go. There we go. Hope burns eternal. Uh, Nitro not ready to call it a night, and he's on his last stock. Both of them. 
You know, championship point, as I said, for T3 Dome. Mm -hmm. Break that point now for uh, Ooh, Nitro. Using the F for Wolf Flash, calling it out just like that. 39% already evened up. Literally only 0.1 is separating them from their percentages. But Nitro, he's feeling himself right now with the ball of back air. It's to say otherwise. Yeah, he, oh man, he had an opportunity for a punishment one for Pellets instead. A good forward smash, I, you know, I respect the attempt. But T3 Dome, very good presence of mind, just a standard get up instead. He's got him off stage. Oh, questionable. Now the trouble is all those back airs, that's probably stale. He's gonna have to hit them with a few pellets before he can really yeah, use back But it doesn't matter kill. if you're able to get a saw blade confirm off here. At the stage he's went for the hard oh, with the forward smash. smash. Maybe even could have charged it just a little bit longer, but played it safe. Yeah, those downers are getting so close, but the back air finally takes it. He and does. It's T3 Dome's tournament. Let's go. And pop of a celebration, T3 Dome. Climbs the mountain, beats his rival. Javi, get that camera moving. Got the player game <laughs> celebration. Hey, you talk about starting from you know the the bottom and building your way up, oh and finally taking God. the tournament. T3 Dome wins. And remember, not only did he beat Nitro once, beat him twice. twice. Forced him off his character. The uh, the Richter power rankings are in shambles and right now. And he stayed in winner's <laughs> side the entire time too. No sets dropped, and you know shout outs to T3 Dome. Coming into his own. Let's get him on that power ranking now, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come, no, over, here, come over here. You can interview them all. All right, so if you're watching CT Lux, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to let the champion uh, get on the microphone for a little bit, talk to the crowd. Mm -hmm. Lux, thank you so much, man. Good, today. Good job commentating today, guys. All right, Mr. Part Time Commentator. A little bit, a put little, that, a little put bit. Put the headset of on. How do you feel <laughs> about that set? 